Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jared and today I'm teaching my little sister Sarah how to measure a head for an EEG. So the first things you need to know are where do you start measuring from? You start from the nasian, which is right here on the nose, the bridge of the nose, all the way back to the inian, which is a little bump in the back of your head right about here. So when you start, or at least when I start measuring, I go from the nasian, like I said, bridge of the nose, all the way back to the inian, which is the bump on the back of the head, um, and I get 34 centimeters. So what I do first is I mark in the middle. So half of 34 is 17 centimeters. So I make a mark right in the middle, just as kind of like a landmark, so I know where the middle of the head is. So that's a very important thing to know. And then once I have that, I go back to the nasian, and since the full measurement from nasian to inian was 34 centimeters, you're going to want to go up 10% for the first measurement. So up 10%. If you have 34 and you want to do 10% of 34, it's just 3.4. So 34 turns into 3.4. You just move the decimal over one spot. So make a mark at 3.4, which is going to be our FPZ mark. And then you're going to want to do your 20% mark. So if you want to do go from 10% to 20%, you just double it. So 3.4 doubled is 6.8. So you go up from there, 6.8, make a mark. There's going to be your FZ mark. Um, and then another 6.8, you're going to be drawing over the CZ mark that you made earlier. Showing you guys so far, this is what we got. Um, and then you go back one more, 6.8, that's going to give you your PZ mark. And then you go down one more, 6.8 is going to give you your OZ mark. And then if you go down 10%, just to double check, you'll see your Enian. So right now we have um, our FPZ mark, which should be centered um and then we have fz right here cz in the middle of the head pz back here and then oz all the way in the back of the head i know it's kind of hard to see but we're gonna go with it so that's front that's front to back and once you do front to back now you have to do side to side so when you start side to side you're gonna want to start at your preauricular points which is right here here about on next to the ear so pretty much from ear to ear right here to here you're going to want to measure and you're going to be going through this cz mark that you made in the middle of the head and you're going to cross it so and usually these measurements are pretty similar so we go through here from ear to ear it's about 30 34 as well so um and now we make our mark, we cross our CZ mark in the middle, and that just proves that, oh yeah, this is the middle of the head, that's why we're making the cross. And then, just like how we did front to back, it's the same thing from side to side. The first one is 10%, which is going to be 3.4 on a 34 uh, centimeter measurement, and then we're going to do our 20%, which is, you just double it, so 6.8. There's 6.8 there, and another 6.8, crossing our CZ mark, um, and then another 6.8 right here, and then another 6.8, and then if you go down 3.4, then you'll get your uh, other preauricular marks. So we have front to back, and now we have side to side marked. Now that's what we have so far. Once you have front to back and side to side, then you're going to want to do the cir circumference, or as I like to call it, the, the headband. So just around the head, you're going to want to start from your FPZ mark that you made, going through the the marks that you've made previously going all around the head 
and we're gonna get 55 centimeters. Now, if you have 55 centimeters, um, one thing I like to do is mark my FP1 and FP2. So the distance between these two should be 5.5 centimeters or 10%. So what I like to do is just 5%, which would be 2.75. It's usually around three. It's usually around three. So if it's 55 for the full thing, it's gonna be 2.75 on this one and 2.75 on that one, which is right here. And, or for example, if it's 60 all around, then it's gonna be three and three. So, so these are usually gonna be about three. So now, now going around the head, um, it's just gonna be a bunch of 10% uh, measurements. So 10% of 55 is 5.5. So you make a first one, 5.5 right here. Make another one, 5.5. That's gonna cross your uh, T4 mark. Um, we're gonna go another 5.5 right here. And another, which is gonna be your T6 mark. And then you're gonna do another 5.5, which will get you your O2 mark. And then if you do, uh, I guess 2.75, then you'll be at your OZ back here. And now, since we went from this way around, now we go from this way around. Um, so start from here, your FP, FP1 mark, 5.5, which is 10% of the whole thing, since we did 55 centimeters for the whole thing. There's 5.5s all around, another 5.5. This will cross and mark your T3 mark, uh, another 5.5. That'll give you your T5 mark right here. And another 5.5 will give you your O1 mark right there. And so once you've gone from front to back, side to side, and you've gone all around, then you're gonna wanna do the front horseshoe. So the, the front horseshoe you do from F7 to F8. It looks exactly like a horseshoe. You start from this one, you go through here, and then you get to here. So I got 22, so I always like to mark the middle. Half of 22 would be 11. So yep, that makes sense. And then it's lined up with the nose. You can tell like the nose is the middle of the head, so you can tell it's lined up. And then you just mark 25% of 22, which is, a good way I like to think of this is, so if 11 is halfway, um, just do half of 11, which is only 5.5. That, that's, I think that makes it easier. Um, and then you go from here, another half of 11 is another 5.5. And you can tell that they're all evenly distance that's how you know you're doing it right and then you do the same exact thing i'll show you the front horseshoe we have boom 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 it's kind of like a horseshoe we do the same thing for the back side now hope you guys can see i'll just show you real quick um but this one we start from t t5 going through PZ over to T6, which is 22 again. It's a very similar thing. Um, mark in the middle, 11, which is half of 22, which was the full measurement. And then since from here to uh, PZ is 11, I just do half of that, which is 5.5. Make a mark here and then go from here to here. Halfway is 5.5, make a mark there. And you generally have all of them marked. Uh, the last thing we need to do is to cross all the rest of the marks, just to make sure they're all in the right spots. So this, now we take it from FP1 all the way to O1, all the way in the back. We go from here 
to here. This is pretty much the last part. Uh, we get 24, so you're gonna make crosses at six, 12, 18, and 24. So six, you're gonna be crossing F3, 12, you're gonna be crossing C3, um, 18, you're gonna be crossing uh, P3, and then 24, you're gonna be crossing O1. So if from FP1 to O1 is 24, it's just six, 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 and six. And that, that's a pretty common measurement, I would say, too. Pr pretty much about there. So, and then you would just do the same thing for the other side. FP2, all the way back to O2, 24. So we're just going to want to do even distance, six, cross F4, another six, cross C4, another six, cross P4, and another six, cross O2. Now we have the head fully marked and measured and ready for an EEG. Now, if we look at this head, I mean, not too bad, right? Just not too bad, just, oh, this is a little off, but I'm trying to film a video and talk to you guys at the same time, so cut me some slack, guys. But yeah, it'll be a little more, a little more even. Okay, looks a little better. Um, make sure you cross this, make sure these are all on the same level. Uh, yeah, generally okay. Not too bad for me filming a video and doing it at the same exact time. But uh, another thing I like to do is when I was first starting out, when you have your erasable marker, you can take the uh, mannequin head and you can write down all the electrode site names on the mannequin head uh, after you're done measuring. So you can drill the electrode site names of the 1020 system into your mind so you don't forget them. So. Just to start off, um, we got our little guy here. We got from these front ones, we got F, P, 1. We got F, P, 2. And we'll go, we'll go around on the side. So now we got F, 7, because this is the left side. Then we got T, 3, T, Five, then we got O1 all the way in the back. This is O1, this is OZ, OZ. Now we can we can go from front to back. We got uh, FPZ, FZ, CZ right in the middle of the head, PZ a little behind that, and then OZ a little behind that. And then if we go around the right side, we got um, F8, uh, T4, uh, T6, and then O2, because it's on the right side. And then if you want to mark these, you got your F. Four, C4, four, P4, four, and then on the other side you got uh, F3, C3, and P3. Now, took a while, took a while, but we measured the entire head. Looks a little messy now, but it's just for practice purposes. Um, I'm gonna teach my sister, and hopefully she can measure and mark ahead for an EEG. Think you got this, Sarah? I can try. Like and subscribe. Yeah. See you guys.